tie on your right hand side. Now, the smaller end of the tie, you're going to have to do some playing around with. You're going to have to do some trial and error because depending on where I place this small end of the tie, it's either going to make my tie longer after I've completed the knot or shorter. And you always want to remember that you want the end of your tie, after it's been tied, you want the end of it to hit your belt buckle, right about the middle of your belt buckle, maybe just the top of your belt buckle, but you don't want it to be any shorter or any longer than that. Okay, so what I do is I typically place this end of the tie like right about the middle of my uh, chest here. And the first step is you're going to take the large end of the tie and you're going to loop it over the small end, and as you loop it over, what you're going to do is you're going to take this large end of the tie and you're going to push it through the opening here. So you're going to push it through the opening that you just created, you're going to pull it, and then you're going to just kind of angle it over to your left a little bit, and you're going to have the beginning of that Windsor